A local family appeared in Albany alongside Senator Tom O'Mara and Assemblyman Phil Palmasano to push for legislation that would help the families of victims who have been brutally murdered. WY's Samantha Potter was in Albany to meet the Roby family and hear what this film means so much to them. They're calling it good common sense legislation. It's a bill that would extend the period of time from two years to five years for violent offenders to apply for parole. And one Steuben County family is helping make it possible. Dory and Dale Roby of Savona lost their four-year-old son in the summer of 1993. Derek was walking down the street near his house when 13-year-old Eric Smith lured him into the woods and brutally murdered Derek. Smith was convicted of second-degree murder in 1994 and sentenced nine years to life in prison. Smith first became eligible for parole in 2002 and has been denied all seven times. For the Roby family, every time Smith is eligible for parole, they appear before the parole board to make sure Smith never sees outside prison walls. It's horrendous to have to pull it all up every two years. Um, it affects our other son, it affects our parents, you know, the rest of our families and neighbors. Um, it's, it just would be so much better if it was at least doubled so that we had much more time to effectively live. With Smith being up for parole every two years, the Robies have had to start planning to present letters, home videos of Derek, and speeches every 18 months. And with that comes the emotional pain and suffering of having to relive their son's murder. Those that commit these types of crimes need not have the opportunity to join our society every two years. State Senator Tom O'Mara and Assemblyman Phil Pomisano are co-sponsoring a bill that requires violent offenders like Eric Smith to wait five years instead of the current two years between parole hearings. This legislation is common sense legislation which would give the parole board the ability um, to wait up to 60 months uh, on a case-by-case -case basis um, rather than having to put families who have gone through such a horrific tragedy every two years. And it's common sense legislation, it's the right thing to do and that's why we're pu actively pushing so hard and to have the families come up, like the Roby family, come up and, and share their personal story puts a face and name to this issue, which I hope uh, is something that can help push it over across the, the finish line. With session ending in less than a month, Paul Masano says we should find out if the bill passes within the next three weeks. Reporting in Albany, Samantha Potter, WENY News.